Where are your camera at, Brody? Oh, I, I thought I had it on. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm about to say, phone. bro. I'm oh, like, oh, are you on a whole different tab or something? Uh, no, I just, I just didn't turn it on. But <laughs> my, that's my fault. My bad. Your dub, you come, you going to WrestleMania? Nah, I wish I was, bro. Damn, but I should in Philly, you're bro. So, you're so lucky that you're getting to go after the way they're hyping this mania up. Man, yeah, I got was... there. That shit about to be lit. Bro, that mania is about to go through the roof, bro. And I'm not going to lie. This year's story has been cooking. Oh, my God. You got The Rock beating up Cody Rhodes backstage, bro. I'm not going to lie. This is crazy. Y'all got to ignore... I'm not a Cody crybaby, so you know it is what it is. Hey, you, you called me saying the uh, manual, huh? You say you called me sending manual, yeah, that's cool. Bad. But, um, um, unfortunately, the tribal chief needs to get packed up. We can't yeah. do another year of this. Well, no, he's losing the title, like, yeah, there's no way they're gonna have a whole another year, yeah, they can't know they're gonna have a whole another year of um, what's it called? No, that shit. Um, is that Ben? Again. Is that Ben here? Yeah, I'm glad you're here, Ben. I've been what's I've going been, on. I've, what's been, up, what's I've up? been missing you on Good Iron for a long time, man. I, I, I got smoke with you, so let's see if it comes. Of out. Of course you do. You always do. Yeah, you be, <laughs> be chatting. Yo, <laughs> yeah. uh, oh shoot! Oh my bad. I thought y'all was gonna keep it going, no, but no. um, y'all y'all heard what happened. Y'all heard the rule change of what's going on with the NFL. It's kind of crazy and it's kind of wild. You feel me? Um, the fact that the whole entire, I think the whole entire league is in an uproar about it. I think the fan base is in an uproar about it, mm-hmm. about the new NFL rule change about tackling. Now you can no longer do a hip tackle. Where if you don't know, is basically when you extend, usually it's, it's when the uh, defensive player is extending and the uh, offensive player is running. You sit here and just, drop your whole body as your arms are across his hip to sit here and force a tackle. You can no longer be able to do that, man. So how do y'all feel about that rule change that they have? And the reason why J.J. Watt is in the title because he did talk about how, you know, this era is now going into flag football and he doesn't like that. Um, I mean, so obviously y'all don't know, but my father, he used to be an avid football guy. He watched it. He played it. Went to college for it. Um, he for the longest time used to be like, I hate football, man. It's getting soft. I just thought, honestly, I thought my dad was being an old head. You know what I mean? He grew up mm. in the 80s and hey. 90s. Thought he was being an old head. Today, or when that rule drop, that rule change dropped was the first time I I dad looked at him. I was like, you know what? You're right. Because this is crazy. Like this, yeah. this is ridiculous. Um you can't do anything anymore. Like, what else are they supposed yeah. to do? Like, first it was like, oh, we want to worry about concussions. We need to start tackling more at the legs and the and the and the hips and stuff. I mean, there was a viral like I remember every high school using Pete Carroll's tackling video that he did with the Seahawks. I remember every high school was playing that. Like, yo, this is what we need to do now going forward. Yada yada. This that and the third. Right. Mm-hmm. And now we're at a point where like. People are just going, like, honestly, be prepared for the most yards after contact we've ever seen by anybody. Mm-hmm. Like, so Debo's about to go I, crazy. Yeah, facts. Because remember remember how uh, Trey was here? We were talking about how, oh, we feel like defenses have caught up. They had one year of their best quarterbacks not performing the way they should. They said, Boy. Yeah, get rid of defense. That's what they did. They're like, yeah, we can't have this again. Because this is crazy. Yeah. I so when I heard about the rule change, I honestly kind of felt like this was another reason of the NFL trying to change something in the claim of player safety cuz but the way they're doing it is not the right format. Cuz my problem with it is it's already hard enough if for as an NFL defender right now to play your position. Cuz pass interference, we can't call pass interference. And now you're saying that uh, tackling from the hip down is now going to be banned. Like, justifiably, I don't get it because I feel like the thing is, I love how they say that they're claiming they're doing this for player safety. 
But what's funny is they wouldn't agree to have all the grass field, have the turf be replaced by grass. Like, I don't get why this rule is. I don't get why the rule change right now is like this is what you think is going to be the best solution for player safety. Because I think, again, the NFL is doing a bunch of stuff that's making the game, like G Baby said, basically soft. It's harder to play defense than it ever has been in the history of the NFL. And with this rule change, that now doubles that. So now we're in a situation, and I was thinking about this today. I feel like the problem is a majority of these games, I feel like the NFL is trying to make the offensive game be produced much more so they could score more touchdowns, so they could be able to produce more offensively. And because of that, they're making it harder on the defensive side of the ball. Now, I don't know if that's the case or not. I just was thinking about it. But it's sad to see because it's making it harder and harder for especially any defensive player to do your job. Like, how are you supposed to do your job? Like, how are you supposed to complete a task? And we're only giving you half the pieces to complete it. Like, it's not making sense. And it's going to – it's really dangerous what they're doing. Mm. Yeah, I just – it's kind of – I mean, we all kind of touched on yeah. it. Yo, you – uh, yeah, I look on it like I feel like I think it's the hardest for a DB. I think it's the hardest because once a running back, you know, he gets mm-hmm. back in that second level, a receiver gets burnt. You got to play catch up. I'm gonna play catch up if I can't tackle in front of him. I, I can't bring him down. I like I'm supposed to chase him, and what you want me to do? I got to put full effort into trying to tackle him. You know, chase him from behind, and you know, and then I'm gonna get 15 on top of that. No, nah, that's that's bad. Do you think that they would? Do you think that they would sit here and change his role? Change again? After yes, I think I think so. I think so. Yeah, I, I think after next year, because I, I think, think it's gonna cost I, somebody a game. Yeah, and I and especially in the playoffs, and mm-hmm. let it let it cost the Chiefs. Oh, let it cost Mahomes. Oh, it's over. That oh, rule. yeah, that rule's gonna change. Yeah, definitely. Because I think this kickoff rule that they're doing, it's on a trial basis. That's out of their mouth. That's out oh, of their. That's yeah, that, that, that that's their. I mean, so, I'm not gonna. I mean, I mean, it's not. As you jack bad. you jack it. The I mean, kickoff, I've seen I mean, it in the XFL. I mean, it's not the worst yeah. thing in the world. For the front line soldiers, I know they're happy about it, but bro, like, I mean, it prevents injuries. Well, That's even the rule change they have now prevents injuries. No, but I'm saying, I think, I think for a kickoff, it's probably, I think the more the hip drop one, that's kind of crazy. But I, I'm like, I'm really just mixed about how they feel about the special teams. Well, it's not, I'm not really trying to well, take look, it out the you, game. Man. Well, if you look at the way they did it in the XFL, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the worst thing in the world. That's yeah, just like, kind of I, I, it looked kind of fire like that. It looked kind of I've watched you know the saying? XFL you can get a couple, stuff. I'm not mad at it. I've like, seen it can, play out and it works. Like, if they're doing that, that's fine. Just the hip drop tackle, it just irks me a little more, like I said, because it's just, I feel like. It's gonna be harder to call it now. Like again, going back with past. I'm just saying, game. but if he get past that front line, forget it. Ain't nobody catching. Yeah, it's just let not, Nick Chubb just, let Nick Chubb get ahead of steam on him, bro. I, exactly. don't lie. Yeah, I feel like they're gonna put somebody like I feel like now that they do that, they're gonna put different people back there. Not like, I, I but just, you can't even because those different people need to be able to, you know, uh, run across the field, and you just can't have big guys trying to stop the run. Honestly, the crazy thing is this may help the running backs, if anything. This may help the running backs extremely because they're about to start going going nuclear. And they still still won't pay them, them, bro. It's going to be crazy. Mm. But But it's – yeah. Go ahead, man. Go Like like what G maybe said, I didn't didn't really like it. Like, it's stupid. Like, there's no need. Like, we're playing flag football right now with this new rule. Like, I I just don't like it. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead, G-Baby. Because it's just kind of to add on to it, it's like, how are they going to manage this during the season? That's what I'm saying. How because you week it? one, week one, it's, the flags are going to fly. Week two, you're not going to see anything. And then we're going to be like, well, is it, is it, uh, what's it called? Is it going to be called here? Is it going to be called? Because this is something like real talk that's never been done before. Yeah. And it's gonna cost them. Like I promise you. I wonder who's gonna be the first one to call it. Like, like they're gonna hesitate. Is that is that a hip drop? Would that be considered a hip drop? Let me throw it. Like, yeah, they're they're gonna be like, uh, hey, screw. We gotta get the first one out the way anyway. So might as well. I feel like it's gonna. We're gonna see a little bit of it if they, because I feel like the rule that we're gonna see it in the preseason. I feel like that should be under review. We'll see it some, but I feel like again, it, it. 
it's it's just stupid. Like it's harder for a defender to defend right now, anyways, without getting called. And now you're make adding another layer on top of it. I just feel like there's going to get to a point. It, it's just gotten to a point where it's ridiculous. Like what more do what more are you going to change to try and make the game better? Because I feel like they're making they trying to make the game better, but they're killing it no, they're on not. the other end. Because no, I feel they're like they're there's no making, way they there's no way they make these rules and think, yeah, we're making the game better. No, they're trying to make more money. That's that's a hundred percent they're trying to make they're trying to make more money. They're not trying to make the game better. Because they don't want their guys getting hurt and this is that. So how can we effectively change any type of violence in this at all? That's what they're doing. Like, because there's there's no way you say, yeah, this is what football is. But you know what? We're gonna take away a way you can tackle. Like I get it. Blows to the head, fine. Even though I think they be getting those calls wrong all the time, fine. Yeah. Blows to the head, cool. I get it. I understand. There's evidence that you know, hey, maybe you shouldn't be doing that. Fine. But tackling game, like the I think honestly, in the moment, you know, that's so hard. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, and then also too, honestly, I feel like that's the least of their problems when it comes to. I'm more worried about when they twisting their ankle on the ground and stuff. Those are the injuries I care about more, more than a freaking hip drop. Like, yeah, it's like I said, it's just they they find new ways to be stupid. I guess, and it's not like we're not gonna watch the season. It's not like people aren't gonna fill them stadiums. So, yeah, um, well, they they are gonna fill it. They're always gonna fill it, but. I, I guess the whole thing with me and this whole rule change and everything, it's like sometimes I just feel as if the NFL just changes rules that are unnecessary, bro. And it's every single year you do it. Why are you changing it? There, there was no reason to change something like that. If there's bro, far bro. more. Yeah, there's far more other rule cha- rules that you can sit here and talk about. Like, I'm not going to lie, like offensive pass interference. That's something that don't get caught enough. I see plenty of times the wide receivers putting their hands on the DBs and y'all do nothing about that because they're masking it all in terms of player safety. They're masking it all. It's not really about player safety. They just want the offense to be as explosive as it possibly can. They don't give a damn about the players. They just want to sit here and want to make that offense go. Screw the defensive players because as much as they talk about the injuries that happens on the offensive players, why does no one talk about the injuries that happens on defensive players because they are trying to hold back yeah. because of the rule changes that they cause? Mm-hmm. So the player safety thing is just stupid because you're not considering the injuries that happens to defensive players because of these rule changes, bro. Yeah. I mean, they're just trying to have a repeat of the Chiefs Rams game when they went 50, scored 54 51, and they had that. That's literally what they're trying to do with this rule. They're trying to, like, I agree. They're making the offense as explosive as possible because the more point, touchdowns are scored, it's for people, it's more entertaining. And I think that's the, you can look at that and say, yeah, that's a good thing. But the problem is, at the end of the day, you can score that many points in a game, but it's then going to be like, you know, where's the – there's got to, like, defense – like, again, it's – I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over again. My, You know my stance on this. It's stupid, and this isn't the first time we see the NFL make a dumb rule change to try mm-hmm. to make make the game better, and then it ends up blo- – or, or in their eyes, make the game better, and it blows up in their face. Like, mm-hmm. so yeah, I don't know what you do at the end of the day. Maybe I maybe, but it's just it's just stupid. It, it's literally like it's literally becoming flag football at this point. We're watching defenders lose more and more of their ways to play the game, and you know the NFL when they receive the flashback, I don't really know what they're gonna expect because this is their own fault. It's, was the Mark Andrews um tackle was it that bad though? Yeah, is that Mark Andrews, Tony Pollard? Um, it's not hit drop tackle caused a lot of injuries, but it's okay. just a football. But any time when you play football, there's always going to be injuries. So I don't understand this. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like, like the one when like the hitting extremely low, like when the time that Brady thing happened in 08, okay, fine. Because you hit super low, you can snap ACL. Fine. You hitting people up in the head, concussions, lead to CTE. Okay. But this one, like, you pushing it, you dragging it. Like I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't see. Because even though it can, yes, it can cause a lot of injuries. But I, I mean, obviously, I ain't got no numbers in front of me. But everything, anytime somebody steps on the field, they can 
get an injury, contact or no contact. You won't change mm. the turf fields, but whatever. Yeah. So when I look at it like, bro, that's the risk you run. Like, I'm not saying don't care about safety, but, bro, this is tackle football. It is a contact sport. Name a contact sport where injuries don't happen because of contact. Like, it's going to happen. Like, I'm not saying this to be uh, to not care as much, but the thing is, bro, like, you can't take away everything. The, if anything, I feel like you're going to cause more injuries trying to prevent injuries by preventing the tackling and the physicality, like, Anybody who played football know what your coach going to tell you. If you run up there scared, that's how you're going to get hurt. You know what I mean? And if they're hesitating, trying to run up, make tackles and stuff because they don't need a flag, that's that's going to cost more stuff. So I just feel like they just doing – I don't know. They, I guess they just doing stuff for the sake of it. They was bored this offseason, needed a new script. I don't know. You know, there's been talks about the Vikings trading up for a quarterback, right? And I want to know because they have two first round picks right here. Do you think that's something that they're gonna do, or you think they're just gonna ride it out? Because I'm not gonna lie, either or their offense is gonna be crazy next year. I think I was Sam Darnold back there. I think yeah, uh, who's their starting quarterback? I mean, I Sam think, Darnold. Sam Darnold. <laughs> I think if you have sorry, go ahead, Trent. I think they're destined to trade to number three because I can see the Patriots trading back. I could yeah, it might not be the best thing for Patriots. But I could definitely see them because, again, like we say, we because look, the Patriots most likely you because they have 11 and 23. So, the Patriots, you get those picks, probably get some extra picks. You really try to load up. Maybe I guess thug it out this year because even though Jacoby Brissett is not the best thing in the world, realistically, he ain't that bad either. So, and the Jamar, I was saying, Gerard Mayo has already said, we're not like that, we're not locked in on taking a quarterback at three. They're, they're open up on trading. So if they get the right pick, because me, honestly, if I'm the Vikings, I'm not trading up. But like one, two or three, that's the only place I'm trading up to, because most likely the top three picks are going to be the quarterbacks. So yeah. I would trade with the Vikings and go get Drake May and call it a day or Jaden Daniels and call it a day. Because that offense will be crazy because Aaron Jones, Jettis, Jordan Addison, no. TJ Hawkinson, no. No, yeah, for sure. So here's the only thing that I would say to that, because. I guess the Patriots are still the Patriots. They just put a black head coach in there and tried to make it seem like they were going in a new direction. This is very Bill Belichick-ish type stuff. Bill Belichick mm -hmm. is very known to not take the obvious pick and try to outsmart everybody. He passed up Nick Chubb for Sony Michelle, which maybe wasn't as bad at the time, but we see how that turned out. He passed up DK Metcalf for Nikhil Harry. That, to me, was bad at the time. That was bad. So, I guess they're doing that. So, I can see the Vikings trading up, I guess. I don't know, man, because if I because to get into that top three, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like there's other teams that might be able to give them a better package. Real talk. Like, if I like low key the Raiders, if they really want to make a splash, I know they got Garner Mitchell over there, but if Antonio Pierce really want to go get his dude. I think Jaden Daniels with, with Antonio Pierce and Devontae Adams. Mm. I think that's a great place to start. I don't know. I don't I'm not saying the Vikings wouldn't. I don't know. I just don't believe in the Patriots right now. I don't believe anything they say until it happens. Cause common sense dictates they shouldn't trade back because the quarterback class next year is nowhere near as good. Yeah. Nowhere near as good. Yeah, no. Nah. You're, I, and I think for New England, you're in a situation where this is kind of you can't really risk ruining this up because I understand what the Vikings – If because I'm going to be honest, it's difficult for me because I get it because Minnesota, you're not going to do anything with Sam Donald as your quarterback. I'm sorry. Don't get me wrong. I think Sam Donald's a great guy, but do I think he's going to be the best solution for Minnesota? No. I feel like for Minnesota right now, if you draft up to get a Drake May, a Jaden Daniels, and you have him, that's a great way to start. I just feel like for New England, they have so much riding on this pick for their quarterback because I feel like if they had – I think with Mac Jones, it was nightmarish all over the board, and now you lost Mac Jones. So I feel like they have to take their quarterback and stick with the pick. If Minnesota offers them a trade – I just feel like there's a lot of negative risks that's going to come with it because they, I feel like from again, 
New England is in a situation in my eyes where they have an opportunity to start the long road back to getting back into a form where we've seen them before. And I think it starts with this draft. So I can't see a really solid way where they make the sacrifice to take the trade so Minnesota can be in their spot. I just don't think they have an, a chance to risk that. I mean, As I think if they would have got – I mean, I think if they would have just been a good front office and did something in free agency, we'd be having a different conversation. So unless the Vikings are willing to give them, like – and when I say a king's ransom, I literally mean, like, the most king's ransom you can get. Then, yeah, sure. But other than that – I mean, shoot, I'm not going to lie. Even if I'm the Patriots, if you really just don't like Jaden Daniels and you just really don't think he's the guy, maybe let's say you're waiting on Shador, go get Marv or something. You feel me? Like, Because ga- drafting your quarterback means nothing if you don't eventually get your weapons. Now, assuming if they do draft Jaden Daniels, I'm assuming that next year, because they're still going to have hella cap space, that's when the weapons would come. You know, new head coach, go get your quarterback now. But I, I don't know what these guys are doing. I'm not gonna lie. The only way I see it working, because I was thinking about this and just doing some trade simulators. The only way I see this maybe even possibly working is if they give them the 11 pick, the 23 third pick, and then a 2025 20, first rounder. That's probably one of these iffy ways you could probably make it work. Outside of that, I feel like. New England needs to not budge with this pick because I feel like they're going – I know New England's previous draft history has been horrible. They have a chance to redeem it. And I, like G-Baby said, next year's QB draft class is nowhere near what we're about to see right now. So I don't think you have time to wait it out and pray for the QB class this next year to be a miracle. Because I'm going to be honest with you, Quinn yours, Jackson Dart, Drew Aller, all those dudes, regardless of what you think, they're not up to the levels of a Caleb Williams, a Drake May, a just Jane Daniels. It's just I can't see a world where you risk that because if you're going to take that hit, you have to be 100% sure that you know looking into the future that you're going to have somebody next year that you're waiting. And I don't see anybody looking at this QB class. And don't get me wrong, I'm a huge college football guy. Out of all the quarterbacks I see coming out next year, I don't think there's someone that I can look at the Patriots picking and saying that that's going to be the best solution. They just need to take the hit and take Jaden Daniels. Do not risk it. If you risk it, it's over. Who is the most overrated defensive player so far? If he's talking about about in the NFL, it's TJ Watt. I'm just like, they're starting so hard to put his name up with his brother. And don't get me wrong, TJ Watt is a fantastic player, but y'all put him in conversations he does not need to be in. He is a great player, but y'all got to relax and let this dude say. Because there's, because I'm going to be honest, in my eyes, Miles Garrett is the best edge rusher in the league. And I don't think TJ is better than him. It's, hmm. it's just, I wouldn't be mad about it because I still think, like, again, he's a great player, but we put him – at a level that I don't think he's earned yet. And that's the only thing that irks me about it. I'm surprised. Do no. you have anything to say? I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I knew TJ was coming, but um, I don't, I don't overrate it. Yes. I don't think there's really that many overrated people defensively. Yeah, there's not really. Mm-mm. Well, you, well. I thought y'all that. was going to say sauce. Nah, well, sorry. I hope Trent's off of that now. I mean, I mean, I think I made my point when it just came. Who got a fucking fan in the back? I know. It's I think that's me. One second. Grand, <laughs> grand, 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 grand. Um, uh, what's it called? I mean, shoot, the way some people was talking, Deron Bland, but because he won DPOI, everybody. Oh no, nah, yeah. Quarter now. Bland. And Ben Ben still overrates DK, unfortunately. But hey, that's. Hey, what else we gotta talk about? Because if we if we don't got nothing to talk about, hey, we could do a tier list or something, dog. I got one in the chamber. Tier list uh, for who? I'm fine with it. I got a running back tier list right now that's on my Well, office. actually, actually, before we get there, actually, you know what? Before we get there. Oh, wait. Uh, do we have another super chat before I continue? Nah. Okay. So before we get there, let's – let's. I haven't brought him up myself, but let's talk about Trevor Lawrence for a second. Uh, and, this, uh-oh. And, this is, and this is why. Because – and I saw the TikTok that was posted either today or yesterday. 
we keep saying, oh, CJ Stroud, we know what he did if he continues. We keep saying, hey, if Anthony Richardson stays healthy, we keep saying, oh, they just gave Will Levis all of this. Mm-hmm. But in all of those conversations, we never say, what if T-Law bounces back? And I feel like y'all are – now, it could be my fault because, you know, I am the leader of the fan club. But every time we talk about these guys, y'all never put into, like, in the conversation of what if T-Law bounces back to what he should be? You feel me? Like, and and my thing is, like, because we given all these other guys the what ifs, and we're assuming they're going to be at their best. Why aren't we assuming that T Law is going to be at his? Now I give you CJ. I will let that slide because he <laughs> over he overplayed his expectation. I'm not going to take nothing away from that. So until I see CJ fall off, I'm not going to see nothing. AR15. I've already said I was wrong about him. I've already said, hey, he proved me wrong, even in them little small sam- sample size. So I'll give him that. Hey, Shane Steichen clearly got somebody he can work with, right? And I just saw him do. Almost win the division with Gardner Minshew. So there's that. Will Levis, I don't think Will Levis is all that personally. I'm still not buying it. But I can't say the Titans aren't trying to give him stuff. Like, I can't say that. Like, they're at least trying to put stuff around him. So, yeah, we laughed at Gabe Davis getting signed. We laughed at, you know what I'm saying, Calvin Ridley not not coming back, whatever. But the Jaguars are still in prime position to win this division. I think they still can. I mean, they won it with the worst crew. And I don't think we're talking about the, the defensive coaching staff they got over there now. Because Ryan Nielsen, he was with Atlanta last year and been with the Saints since we've been elite the past mm. couple of years. Their defensive backs coach, Chris Richard, which, real talk, I'm genuinely shocked he still doesn't have a D.C. job in this league because he's a phenomenal coach. He was good with the Cowboys. He was good with the Saints. And now he's in Jacksonville. Right, they just signed old boy from uh from San Francisco, uh Armstead to uh-huh. go al- to go along with Josh Allen. And let's be real, they still got a bunch of productive defensive pieces on rookie contracts. So I, I don't know. I feel like we always uh-huh. seem to forget about what if T Law's at his best. We just assume he's gonna be this bad again. Okay, G baby, I will say this though, like his come like I expect T Law to have a comeback season. Like not like last season. But um kind of like what he had was was his first year. Well no second year, second year. Not first year, but second year. I think he, he's supposed to be like second in that division. Right behind CJ Stroud. Because AR like AR fifteen, I get it, the hype and stuff, but it's a few games. I, I gotta see more from him. Like no, I gotta he, see more. I mean T Law can bounce back. The Jags are regressing though. Like, oh, I, I feel, yeah, oh, I feel. I think sorry, go ahead. Core. Your receiver core regress, and that's mm-hmm. it. And that's it. Mid, your O line was bottom five last year. But okay, so first, yeah, I'll give you the receiver core that that took a step back. The defense, I would argue, is much better now than what it was last year, with much better coaching. I just, I literally just went through it, and we got a better D. We got a better that interior D line, which was really our big issue, we just fixed. Eric Arm hmm. or Eric Armstead alone helps that a lot. A I lot. mean, for me, it's like I kind of understand where Trent was coming from. I mean, when you look at the AFC South, I just think Trevor Lawrence. I think this is a year where he has to bounce back, and I think it's going to be harder because when you like when you look at the Jaguars, it doesn't look like it's going to look like the best that they've had in right now in the off season. I think it could be better, and like you said, you listed off all the pieces and. I think that's all well and grand. I just feel like I'm I'm trying to give grace to the fact that he got hurt and that he still tried to get back and bounce back and still play. And I'm just looking at what we are seeing in the South. If A Rod, if A Rod fifteen continues to, if he does what he does last this year, what he did those first few games, if we see Will Levis actually overachieve which i'm like again i'm still not sold on will levis yet i need to see more because i think we hyped it off off one game and but and then if see we cj stroud is cj stroud i feel like there could be i don't think he can be the fourth i think he can be third because the only guy i'm gonna put him over right now is will levis and that's it because i just 
as much as I want to say something about Will Levis, so you're putting it's just like AR I don't over think... him of, you're putting AR off of him off of how many games? Okay, but in five games, how many? It took five games, and he got a concussion, came back, balled out, still they got hurt, and was done for the year. And how many games did Will Levis have where he had like a solid game? It was just like what one? Like my problem is, I can. The thing is with Ara, the Ar fifteen, we all had questions about this dude coming in at the start. Right? We all said that, or somebody said that if he didn't start, they needed to sit him and not put him on the field early because it was going to ruin him. And he overachieved right at the beginning. Will Levis had one, I think it was like one good, that one game. And then after that, it was so-so. So that's the reason why I feel like you could say it. AR-15 for me, if he didn't get hurt, I felt like he could have had a crazy rookie season too. Like, I just think the way he, the way I saw him play. And when I go back and watch the film for a rookie in his first year on that Colts team, honestly was a lot, really a lot more impressive than I thought when I saw the games the first time. So, but the problem is with Will Levis, it's like I can't but, really say. I mean, just, do you really want me to say? We saw, just we just like saw Garner like, Minshew, but we also saw Garner Minshew with that same team almost win the division. And mind you, shout out CJ Stroud and the Texans for winning it, and shout out for the Colts for competing. It also took like a generational collapse for that to happen, as well. Like yeah. the Jags went like one and seven in their last eight games. Mm. Like that's a, that's a crazy collapse. Yeah, crazy. No, I, and, and 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 let's be real. Some of them games, like T. Law getting hurt uh, during the Bengals win, C.J. Beathard, like like there's there's crazy games where you can go to where like it kind of should have went the other way. Granted, it happens on both sides. There's always games you should win. It's always games you should lose, right? But mm-hmm. it took a generational fall off for them to lose that division, mind you. And I'm not gonna take away again. I'm not gonna take away what they did because those were both great quarterback play and coaching jobs. But the Jags were 8-3 and three at one point, even with T-Law not playing as elite as I expected him to. And then, again, the defense fell off a cliff, and they just all unraveled, right? So yeah. my, my only thing is I feel like we're just automatically assuming, yeah, no, the Jags are done. They're the third best team in the division automatically. Like, no, like, y'all, it's almost like y'all are writing them off completely. And I feel like that's they, I, I feel you on that. I think things take time, bro. Like, I like trolling G baby and stuff, and like, I like going <laughs> against the masses. I like going against the masses because the masses just be wrong like 90% of the time. But, um, I mean, if we're gonna be real with the Jaguars and who they can be, I mean, I think too many people are jumping the gun with the Jacksonville Jaguars and even T Law, you know, and they got to give them some time, you know. Give him some time, let him work some things out, and let him give him a chance to be great. Like we said, uh, Peyton Manning is a great example of this. Peyton Manning is a guy that struggled immensely in the postseason after postseason after postseason. And guess what? He found he <laughs> struggled his whole entire career in the postseason, we're gonna be honest. But um, you know, he was able to still win chips off of it, you know. I think um Drew Brees is another one, needed some time. Warren mm-hmm. Ruin didn't get into the league, but even when he's like when he was really supposed to, but even when he first started, it wasn't great. Tom Brady wasn't great. Not too many guys come into the league, and they're amazing players. So, you know, I think we got to take our time with that. We're too used to seeing Patrick Mahomes, and now C.J. Stroud just taking the league by storm, and y'all, y'all got to chill with some of these guys. They're not all like that. I mean, what's going to see you? This, this NFL season is going to be crazy, dog. This year. Yeah. Crazy, dog. Yo, let me ask you this, right? Because I heard somebody talk about this. Um, but before we do, start bench cut Baker, Tua, or Purdy. I'm not gonna lie. I think, think it's cool. right. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say. I'm saying that I'm starting. Yeah, Tua's out the door. I will probably say Purdy, Baker, Tua. In that order. I, I, I probably would far, start Tua with far, Purdy. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. They was talking Tua, that about. They was talking I mean, about Tua like a top that, ten quarterback at one point. And shoot. I mean, I that noodle be nasty, arm, bro. But I'm gonna start Purdy, bench Baker, and cut Tua. Okay. Yeah, Tua. I'm starting Baker. I'm benching. I don't know. Are y'all? Are y'all? Are y'all that convinced on Baker? I still yes. gotta see it. I yes. still gotta I, see I, it. You know, hey, like, Trent is because Trent is going to be there. Listen, I'm just gonna say this. 
for Baker to do what he did on that Bucks team is amazing to me because we have to understand the whole thing that happened for him in the span of a year is just nuts. And the fact is that it he, though? yes, he wait, what, wait, what'd you say, G baby? Wait, what'd you say, Grant? So, so hear me out. I said, I is it the though. what he did in the span of the past season, including this year, two seasons, is nuts. He gets basically, so if you want to say, for he get, him, no, 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 it, hear me out. If you want to say it's for him, it's amazing, sure. Because of what he's coming from. No, that I'm, saying what, I'm saying what he did on the Buccaneers this season is amazing. Because let's be honest, how many wins did we have the Bucs winning before the season started? Yeah, they're the same as last year, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. I, I did. I did. I think I said they could. I thought they would and, be last in the division, the but, freaking, but. He got but, them into the wild card and won the, the whole division. You know what? Like, no. I'm going I'm to give you. No, 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 no. One of the biggest reasons why everyone thought the Bucks were going to be that bad it was because of Baker. Is because they had Baker. Baker. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And he overachieved. So, no, no, That's no. But saying. again, he overexcelled because of himself. Everyone knew how good the pieces were there to be this average team, but no one believed in Baker. He because doesn't get brown. They, we yeah. thought he would. They would be the number one overall pick, and they were like, once they get Caleb. <laughs> the Bucks are right back to being where exactly. they should be. Mm-hmm. They, he so, got Baker, and everyone was like, you know what? That team is about to be trash. They're about to be garbage. That's exactly what had happened. So I he's he so even Gino though their their ex, even though their expectations were low, their expectations were low because of that quarterback right there. And because he didn't play trash, because he actually played competent football. Then therefore the record is what the record is, but it wasn't like the team was trash. The team wasn't good enough to be that record. No, this everyone was just looking Smith. at him. This yeah, Geno Smith all over again, just without the decade long journeyman. Mm-hmm. They pretty much wrote him off when he got because remember yeah. when that quarterback competition between Geno and Drew Lock, we was like ah. Smith, ah. Ain't beat that. <laughs> hey, no, hey, hey, but just but just but Baker better than Geno. He about to, he gonna he gonna have another good season for that. I need, I need hey, 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 Dub, you know? Dub, remember when Trent would yell at us so hard when he said when we when we would accuse him of being a fan and he was like, Hey, I'm, I'm being a fan. fan. I'm telling you now I'm being a fan. He are yeah, he's I'm being a fan. Really big fan. This, if this sounds like the same thing with I want Jones, to go man. to another playoff game. I want to go to another playoff game. That shit is fun. That shit is late. I just hey. feel like I might have Baker, to catch you in the it's more impressive for me just from what happened to him in his career, and a lot of people wrote him off. And when he was in Tampa Bay. Like what you guys said, like we didn't think it was he was gonna do well because of him, and he overachieved. And I think that's just the most impressive thing that gives Baker for me a second a second chance on life in his career. And I think that's what's more impressive to me. He's gonna be. I'm a not trying to. The rest of his I'm career, not bro. trying to be a hater or nothing. But, he, but he, I'm not gonna hold you. It's not Geno Smith was way more impressive than what Baker did. I'm not gonna fact, lie. Like fact, just because fact, Baker, fact. so. What is, what? Sure, 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 it is. Sure. We all know. No, no, no. Y'all, sure. y'all know. Sure. We're not. Nah, cap, it's, hey, cap. Baker. Baker didn't. Right. Say, Baker didn't say in week one after beating his former team. I did right back. That's really what it was. <laughs> That's really what it was. No, you no, know? no. But we're talking about impressive, as if Geno Smith was basically a bench warmer for ten years, and then he sit here. He was a bench warmer. Yeah, but, but, so, but Baker was that too. For Baker, was, no, he was wasn't. He was. He, no, he was playing games. He was it, the only time he played because he had no choice because everybody was hurt. That's not true, bro. What the hell are you talking about? Cleveland the Browns, Rams, when he got there, he was starting to Cleveland. No, the, I'm not the Rams for not even a whole season. What the hell are you yeah, exactly. talking about, G Baby? Exactly. It's, G Baby, it's not the, the same. Rams. It's not the same yeah, as a guy that hasn't been playing for 10 years and starting in the in the lineup, then a guy in Baker who had one year where there was like, you know what, we're not rolling the dice with this guy anymore. Geno Smith's run and what he did was far more impressive than Baker because Geno wasn't getting no PT for a decade. I mean, yeah, if you would, that's why I said he's he's Geno with less time as a journeyman. So yeah, but the if thing, you want to say because it was ten years, then sure. But but Baker just, Mayfield. So the thing is with Baker Mayfield for me, like because Geno wasn't even given the opportunity like that. I think it's impressive that you know he was able to turn this thing around i've been saying all the time though him on cleveland i said him playing next to odell that's just something that just was never i think he was forcing the ball too much i just think things weren't clicking clicking properly and especially with odell being hurt every almost every season 
It was just something that it was just a bad roll of the dice for Baker Mayfield, right? So change of scenery was the best thing that ha that happened to him. But it's not more impressive than Joe Flacco and what he did this year. It's not more impre like more impressive than what Geno did last year. It's not more impressive than who who else had that a crazy comeback player. There's one more I'm missing. Uh, There's one more. Was it Drew Brees? No. Baker been that dude is crazy. Baker hasn't been that dude, but we could a Adrian I mean, Peterson like, in his MVP why, year. Like, the yeah. reason why I say that is because when you have to understand, Baker in 2022, when they gave Deshaun Watson that contract, Baker literally got traded by the Browns. They got released by the Panthers, right? He becomes a free agent. He goes to the Rams. He comes to the Bucks, and he leads them to the division title and a playoff victory. Like, for me – and I think he's here. He set career highs in his yards and touchdowns this season. Yep. I just think that's just amazingly impressive. I'm not trying to say that it's better than what Geno Smith did. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying overall, this dude's career, a lot of people thought it was dead. And he came back into this bucket of years team with the pieces, regardless of what you think, and got them into the playoffs, and even though they lost to the Lions in a close game, you have to give him that credit. Because honestly, if you look, I think Baker now is going to come into the season, and I think he's going to have a great season. Do you because think he'll be shows... a top-ten quarterback? Nah. I, Yo, I, why are we sure. thinking about it? Why are we thinking about it? Why are we thinking about it? Why no, we thinking about it? no, no. I want to be nasty, but no, no, we're not gonna. No, are we going to? Are y'all going to tell me a quarterback that's made his team go to back to back playoffs for and defeat uh, has a crazy upset in the Eagles game? We are not gonna sit here. and Nobody's gonna talk to him about top ten conversations if he do, does another Wait, great game. Back, back to back, back to back playoffs. No, back to back. Okay, but. That's different, but like I'm saying, but, if but, he but, completes the next year, oh, if he can, I ain't a lot. If he plays the exact same way he did this past year, and they win the division again and make the playoffs, it doesn't put him top ten. Yeah, I, I don't think. And and, and 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 let's just keep it a buck. Sure. I know you don't like him, but like the quarterbacks that are coming in. Oh, he's not. And gonna the be quarterbacks better than that Caleb? took a step back. He's not going to be better than Caleb. I'm sorry, he's not. And then I mean, you also got to think about the quarterbacks that are going to have bounce back years, right? Like, hey, Kirko might come back and start bug bugging. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, Kyler uh, what's Murray. called? Kyler, Kyler Murray yeah. might come back. So, well, I think he, I okay. mean, he was back, but. Yeah, I'm nah, still not, uh, okay. I'm just I was just asking the question. Like that's all I was doing. Baker been that dude got more playoff wins than Dak oh Prescott. My God. Yeah, he he does. Does. I mean, he's he not wrong. Anyway, he does. Does. Yes, yes, he does. Yes, because Dak Prescott only has one playoff win and uh against Tampa Bay when the Bucks were trash with Tom Brady and Baker beat Ben Roethlisberger and the Steelers. And then he won oh, this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, got, he some, did, I yeah. got some hell of that. But I don't want Cowboys mafia on my Yes, bro. They started a bro, they started That's eleven and oh the whole season, Brian. Bro, they started eleven and oh. Chase Claypool tweeted losing, never heard of him. They lost all of their all of their games in the regular season, and they lost the playoff. Before yeah. we get into Dak, since we're on the Steelers real quick, have y'all have nice y'all been seeing have y'all been seeing how AB just be on, like, on the money, bro? Uh, what you mean? Hey. What, what you mean? Yo, AB be calling. Mean, bro? bro, he be calling it, bro. He be talking about how, the like, everyone's calling him crazy and a hater and everything. He's tripping. But there's tons of things in which he said. There's tons of things that he was upset with in his career that got proven completely right. Hey, completely what do I right. Say, Doug, what do I say all the time? Too many coincidences is not an accident. If I start to see things, hey, A, B, hey, bro, I'm sorry, bro. I wasn't familiar with your game because, yeah. That, yeah. Yo. You like, oh, my yo, God. bro. That's my, it's yo. Crazy. I ain't going to lie. I'm scrolling through his Twitter right now, so this stuff is crazy. Nah, bro. Nah, bro, like, yeah, bro. bro. He's got bro, a he tweet be, that says he, Cam Sutton's future in football, and it's the longest yard posted with Cam Sutton in the middle. And watch. That's going to be true. That's literally gonna be true. Yo. And you know what's not you know what's also you know what's also crazy. I remember how everyone was mad at him for Ju for him calling Juju an A B merchant for him yeah, saying bro. that he wasn't really that good. 
and mad about him about dropping the ball in the postseason game. Y'all remember that game? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and I'll look never forget. With Juju. And I'll never forget when. And this is what honestly made me. I never really cared for him, but I'll never forget when Big Ben got mad at Antonio Brown for Big Ben throwing an interception to the defensive lineman. I will never forget that. Yo, I will man. never forget that. That to me, he was like, he was like, yeah, A B ran the wrong route. And I'm like, bro, and I'm, he, I was like, there's no way he's talking about that red zone play. Because literally, it was at the end of the game, they doing a two-minute drive. They got the two, Doug. They got the two. This the big bang, boom, straight to the D-tackle. Like, mm-hmm. dead smack in his hands, bro. At the two, and he blaming A.B. And that Because that was the same year he, like, got mad at James Washington for dropping a pass. Like, he went on a radio show and literally threw all his receivers under the bus. All of them. Like, and that was that, yeah, bro, I'll never, like... I, I so I've been with him on the Ben Roethlisberger stuff, but all this other stuff, I'm not gonna lie, I, I ain't thinking like that. That's crazy. But even then, like he talked, even even though I disagree with it, talk about you know Tom Brady's wife and Tom Brady, you know she was she was cheating on Brady, you know. Oh, so man. it's like, bro. I mean, I mean, it did happen. She was so, a pop. So, bro, it's like the league got to give him a chance. They were wrong about him. Oh, when did Dak win his second? Yo, round? Trey, why'd you make that face, yo? What's wrong with that? You know, you know, he's never playing a down football ever again. He's but bro, he's, he's they was wrong. He's good, you no, know, he, like he has I'm, an unwritten band on him. He has an unwritten band on him. It's over with. He's Listen, good. as much as I think AB was a great player, you don't just rip off your pads, do this crud, and wave to the crowd as you're leaving, and then mm. like. As soon as he did that, it was over. And plus the whole controversy that came out between him and – oh, I forgot his name. Who was the head coach of the Bucks uh, at the time? Bruce Bruce Harris. Harris. Chris Harris, thank you. That whole thing that went around with the meta, with the text about him and his ankle and all that, and it, it's over. As much as – no team is going to risk that right now again. I mean, he also hasn't played league. in how many years? Why would you? Two years. As it happened, his last game was 2021. It's been two years. I, I just – I and I think it's gotten to a point where it's like, are, is it worth it? Like, I, I like, like, don't get me wrong. What I'm saying that I'm not discrediting Antonio Brown as a player. In his no. prime, he was insane. Yeah, but that was – But you cannot risk ago. that right now. It's just he, – he's completely – I just don't think he's – Mentally, for the mental environment of a team, it's not going to do you any good. You know what else he is? Old and hasn't played in hella years, so why would you? Like, if a team was genuinely considering that, you'd have to be the Panthers or the Patriots because why would you? Like, your your receiving core has to be that bad. He's old. His prime was six years ago. Why would you still want him on a team? At this point, he's just entertainment at this point. Because why would you want somebody who hasn't played in two years on a team? Yeah. And, it yeah, it's, it's just not worth the risk. Because I, and I don't think a team is gonna like like Trent said. If he, there's an unwritten band. If you're band, if you're if someone signs AB, they're completely out of their mind. But like I said, yo, bro, my bad. You got Young Miami over here going viral on Twitter. This <laughs> joint was a bop for Diddy, bro. This is crazy. Her Twitter's going nuclear right now, bro. Y'all peeping this? No. Uh, no, I wasn't because. I'm just I'm just basking in the fact that I told everybody about Diddy and nobody wanted to believe me. And now look at y'all. What was this, bro? I've been in the chat talking about Diddy and his conspiracies, oh, yeah. and and Trey and Trent didn't want to believe me. They said I was oh, capping. They said I was no way. Yeah, they didn't want to believe me, Dub. They didn't want to believe me, Dub. Y'all didn't want to believe him. They, they said out. They said out. They they would tell me to shut up that I'm tripping. Yeah, man. we just didn't care, bro. We just didn't. Care. And, then, and, then, and then and then and then and then all that stuff started coming out, and they were like, "Ah, oh. was good, Daniel." G baby was right, bro. Try to tell y'all. Y'all tripping for arguing with him about that, bro. This man, you know they can't find him. You know they can't find him right now. Yeah, yeah, I know. I yeah, know. and you know what's crazy though? Hey, because I mean, you you really? I mean, he he got away with with uh, the murder of, of Biggie. You think they're gonna find him now? Please, please. This man, they call him the diddler. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. That's yo, crazy. David, he's a super villain, bro. This man did he's a super villain, bro. This guy is crazy. I I had to I went through and read the entire court filing. (laughs) 
It's, you have? It's bad. I'm not going to say it on stream, but if you go read that court document, it's bad. Hey, like, I'm just saying. You, you read the one with Young Miami. She was an escort. Yeah, that whole thing. Oh, oh my God, it's all like he. I she mean, was yeah, you say it, oh no, nah, but like, no, that's what it is. That's literally what it is. It's documented. She no, was no, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, let me not say what I was gonna say because you know, but, you know, my uh, people in Philly saying no meek. Yeah, nah, we saying no Diddy. Yeah, no Diddy. We no, saying no well, Diddy no. for sure. But, that's hey, crazy. Hey, no, but Dub, no, Dub, this is what I'll say about Meek Mill. Hey, Meek about to be I just, Hey, look, Dub, I just need Meek Mill Damn. to walk out Drew McIntyre to Dreams of Nightwares, and then you can get him off the face of the I'm not going to lie, G-Baby. Would that even go over well? Because, bro, I'm not going to lie, and I got to ask my friend who be DJing this shit. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, yo. I'm can, we even, can we even play Meek Mill in the club anymore, bro? I mean, I'm just I, I think, honestly, you could still play that song. I mean, I'm just, nah, I'm just glad. I'm just glad. I'm, I'm not gonna it. lie. I'm, glad, I'm not going. Well, he say stuck is sucking and swallowing. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. So real quick, and you just see Diddy looking at him like, hey, this. so it's, Yo, it's the weirdest good, hey, bro. So did he really nah. Did he really come out with an EP and was like, I, I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy? Was that real or did they or did they fake that? Was that a, is that a real line that. from Meek Mill? They probably faked that. Probably I think that. they faked that. No, nah, because they were like, uh, I tried to give that new Meek Mill a chance. And I got something like a new EP or whatever. I promise you there's a TikTok about it, bro. <laughs> yeah, facts. Let's bring let's bring it back to football. Bro. Yeah, my I'm bad, bro. bro. I'm I'm got... No, for sure. I brought up the young Miami. This girl's wild. Let's get to this tier yeah. list because apparently people love James Conner. So yeah, yeah, that's that's what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, love I mean, James Conner. Uh, I guess I guess James Conner's a top fifteen running back now, and he's I better than people that. that he's not. Like who? You know, he's I, better I, than I Monty. Stated. Apparently, he's better than uh, he's better than Monty. Apparently, he's better than uh, Isaiah Pacheco, Tony Pollard. You know, so on and so forth. But I guess we're about to find out right now. Well, I Tony, I don't think it's ridiculous. Backs. Let's get this tier list. Mm. Let's do it. Do I have to get rid of this banner or no? Oh, I started? Oh, yeah, yeah. Remove the banner. Remove the banner. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. If you want to donate, anything helps. Uh, uh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, my fault. I had the wrong. I had right. the wrong. E, baby. Well, yeah, it's on you. Oh, put him in lead. Let's keep pushing. Duh. Derek Henry. That's very good. No. <laughs> That's crazy. That. That's crazy. I knew you was that's gonna crazy. say that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not mad at that. Not what he, he's not what he's not. He used I mean, to be, he, 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 all right, it. all right, all right. Um, that is true. All right, um, Grant Chubb. Uh, Chubb, I would say elite, but this he, yeah, he's elite. I'm not gonna. I was, like, I was like, ain't no but. What you mean? <laughs> There's no but. I'm not gonna. Elite. He said elite. Yeah, elite. Above, are we? I thought we were going in order. Above or yeah, below? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, above, above. order. Uh, I think he's. I mean, he's below CMC. Yeah. Oh wait, I seen a clip of Le'Veon and CMC. Y'all tripping? I'm not gonna lie. About what? About what though? About what though? About what though? No, y'all tricking about Le'Veon and CMC. But in what regards? About what though? About what? I heard an argument. Y'all said, "Oh yeah, if Le'Veon." Was on the uh, what's it called? 49ers. 49ers, like the same exact thing happens. Like, and in my head, same thing as CMC, basically. In my head, I'm like, cool, like that's whatever for me, hmm? it doesn't matter to me. Oh, like, okay, they're, okay. They're, they're all gonna, I think that all great running backs would eat. Hey, on the okay, cool, cool, cool. okay, cool. So and I was arguing with JJ because he said that he wouldn't, so that's the whole. I was like, bro, how, like, what are we doing? But I will say to JJ's point, because of the like. Because of the – they'll impact it on different ways because the explosiveness of, of CMC is on a higher level than Le'Veon's. Oh, I can't hear like you. Like, CMC ain't – I mean, Le'Veon ain't breaking, <laughs> ain't breaking long runs to the to the amount of CMC. Mm. I'm not going to – okay, hold on. Hold on not hold to on. the amount. I kind of agree with that. I kind of agree with that. I kind of agree to disagree to an extent because this season, CMC wasn't breaking out crazy runs this year. He had some. Like, don't get it twisted. He had some. But, like, a lot of those touchdowns and games that he was getting, 
Well, what about the passing that he got for uh, oh, uh, Big that, Chuck Rogers uh, as well? Passing, well, I feel like this, even though in the scheme that he was used, he was used a lot as a receiver, this and that, he only had 554 receiving yards this year. So really, honestly, he was really just toting the rock. And Le'Veon Bell used to really line up at receiver, running routes. Like Le'Veon, like Le'Veon's peak year, he almost got 1K receiving yards. Like, he almost got that. So I think he would replicate well, are you? Are we talking about, like, peak, were y'all comparing peak CMC yeah. or just this year? Because we're talking about peak CMC, I'm taking peak CMC over. Le'Veon. Oh, I, I don't think even though I'll slightly take Le'Veon, I don't. I think that's a coin from. I don't really care. I think Le'Veon could have done what he did on the Panthers, though. Me personally, I think so. Nah, I bro, think, I'm I not gonna lie. I wholeheartedly, nah, wholeheartedly. nah wholeheartedly. not for me. Not for okay, me. so, so especially for Le'Veon, uh, especially for Le'Veon, in my opinion, especially on the Panthers. In order for you those to hit those gaps and everything to to use your vision, you need a serviceable O line. Uh-huh. Man, the Panthers, the Panthers old line. I think he could have ran for. I think he could have ran for the same amount of yards. No, teams. but I think I, I mm. kind of agree with Dub because mm. their running styles are also different, and I don't know if he's going to be getting all. I, like I, I don't think he's doing both. I don't think he's doing both. I, I, I mean, shit. He's, I don't think he's doing one k one k. Okay, I want to say this is why this is why I said on my show. Even if he don't get one k, he's going to replicate. I think he get 900, 800. and I think that's. I'm not going to read. I think he gets seven eight hundred. Yeah, and I'm not, and be honest with me personally, I'm not gonna be moved by 200 more yards, honestly. Because, yeah, I'm, but y'all was getting on, J, y'all was getting on JJ about the him having I, no, by, no, my, by were, my, no, by my recollection, it was just the CMC and Le'Veon debate. I didn't know that he said Le'Veon couldn't do what, what CMC, CMC did. I think that was wild. He, he, he got caught in the trap, so he dragged it out and sort of for the it was just that whole argument, but yeah, the okay, main okay. argument, yeah, well, let's. Also, oh, let me bring back the Taylor Yeah, I don't know why you got rid of me. I could have just yeah. yeah no, no, no. You do that. That's the correct thing to do. Good yeah, job. No, 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 no. I'm talking about like you completely got rid of it from the. No, I, I just stopped sharing it. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, and I'm saying I could have just. Oh yeah. Like oh, literally, you I could. Yeah, you are. You I literally. Yeah, yeah I, forgot, I, I forgot. You got. <laughs> All right, so it's on. It's on me now. I got Kyron. I'm putting Kyron behind Derrick Henry. No. Yes, he's very good. Kyron is very good. No. Kyron, yo, no, Kyron no, is no, like no, that. Is I feel the pain because Kyron, no, Kyron, is, God, God, Kyron, Kyron is like that. Yo, not on Henry level though. Yeah, I mean, I mean, honestly, I still think Derek Henry is the back end of the elite. Like, I just, I, I think, I still think he's elite. I think he's elite. I don't think he's okay, elite. so you got Derek Henry leading it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah okay. Because okay. I'm not gonna. Okay. Gonna be, me personally, I think there's gonna be a lot of like running backs. It's gonna be in the very good. Mm-hmm. That you're gonna be like ah ah, but these guys, these backs are gonna be you gonna see you gonna see. Okay, let's go, let's go. Is that right, so it's back on me? Ben. No, nah, it's Ben. That JT. JT. Oh, elite. Behind what are we putting behind all? Oh, of them? behind behind all of them. Yeah. I bet where 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 and then G Bay. Oh, actually no, what's the name? It's back on me. I'm tripping. Saquon. No. Oh wait. Oh, we're 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 oh, we don't. We're snaking it. <laughs> Why are we snaking it? Nah, oh. <laughs> there's no reason to snake it. Oh, it's so not back like that. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, right, put, go yeah. ahead, put Saquon at the front of the league. I please. never said Kyron was mid. I hate, I hate nah, you everything. did. You did. <laughs> I hate everyone that just don't listen. Nah, 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 you did. Nah, you did. You did. You did. You might have changed your words after the fact, but you because I remember we were having this nah, conversation and you said something that was like Kyron Stafford made Kyron Williams because I did say that. Hey, so was something like if Stafford wasn't even him. W- no, James James Cook. Is it, was it gonna help? I don't know the whole thing. James Cook is good. Okay, not bad. Eh. Eh. I think he's I think good. He's solid, but I'm not really sure about the good part. Um, Grant, um, Aaron Jones. Is it, is it, Texas it. legend. You say Aaron Jones? Yep. Put him at elite, but put him at the back. Ooh, elite. I, I, zoom, I think zoom. Aaron Jones elite. I Trent, think Trent, elite. zoom in a bit. How do I zoom in? No uh, hit alt and then hit the equal yeah, sign where? or the plus. I hit alt on your keyboard, hold alt, and then hit the plus sign on your keyboard. You said hit alt. Do you have a MacBook track? Yeah, hit control and then hit the equal sign. Control equal. And if that doesn't work, hit command because I don't remember what you okay, did. There okay. we go. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. No, keep going. Trying to get those. There we go. Yeah, just right. trying to get the ads out. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, that's why. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Um, it it's on me, DeAndre Swift. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> All right. Poor Swift. Ben. Um, you got James. <laughs> Where are we putting James Conner, Ben? 
And I want you to lie for the people, please. Uh, mm, I put them solid. I okay. Them solid. You said okay. solid. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fine. That's cool. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> oh, brother. I'm not going to lie. Don't, 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 don't. He ain't doo -doo. He's not doo -doo. Spark He's debate. not doo -doo. He's going to spark a debate. He's not doo -doo, bro. G-Baby, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't even do say do mid. I don't even think he's mid. Yes, he is. That's oh. bare minimum where he's going. That's oh, bare minimum where he's going. He's better than Swift. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you can put him better than Swift. Yeah, for sure. He's solid. That's what, yeah. I'm That's, what I'm That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying. All right, so I Dude, um, Dude, where are you putting Joe Mixon? All right, now that's a mid yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That may be even do Nah. We're going we're gonna to stay with mid. We're going to stay with mid. All right, so where are we at the middle? Where are we? Uh, behind Swift. You think what? Swift and Najee better than Joe Mixon? <laughs> I wasn't going to go that far. I no, think he I'm is not, mid. No. Grant. <laughs> Grant, uh, where we, Grant, where we putting David? Why is Joe Mixon moving y'all, bro? I'm not oh uh I would put him in good, but I'm putting him behind uh because he's oh. not he what? Oh my god. No. no, 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 no. Or actually no 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 Trent, Trent, move I mean move my James. Move my James Cook to solid. It's my old pick. Move James Cook to solid. Put him in front of solid. I I can't see a I can't see a list where they're in the same tier. I just can't see it. You think James Conner and David Montgomery are in different tiers? Yes, yes, yes. Completely. There's no way. There's no way they're on the same tier. I'm sorry. Not yet. Not now. Not now at all. Especially after the year Montgomery had. Hell no. Hell no. Right. They are not in the same tier at all. All right, who's it on? Is it on? It's me? on you, Trent. And you right. have I got Raheem. Raheem. Yeah, that's good. That's that's where he belongs. Ben, you got ETN. All right, um, very good in front of uh Kyrie. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah. It's not crazy to say ETN is better than Kyron. It's not crazy to say yes, that. Uh, it's he's not, not on the same tier as Derrick Henry. He's not on the same tier as Derrick Henry. Oh, Whoa. Whoa, he's what? Not. I mean, Derrick Travis Henry should ETN? be an elite still, in my opinion. Travis ETN elite lost me. I didn't say Travis ETN. I said no, I think said Derrick Henry. Henry. I, I think Derrick Henry should be elite. But Derrick can no, What? But, like, but yeah. like Dub, like, I say that, but, like, this is his last year being elite. That's how I feel. Because, wait, let me ask y'all. Uh -huh. Where would y'all put Alvin Kamara? He will be I think there. Alvin very Kamara good. right there, very good. He's in very. He's in so very how, good. He how the hell are how the hell are is ETN on the same level as AK? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You think, Wait, you think clears you think ETN? Alvin Kamara clears Alvin Kamara. No, you, Alvin Kamara clears, clears, clears. Yeah, ETN. Alvin Kamara. Oh, yeah, you think Alvin Kamara clears? Um, Kyron oh, Hunter? everything that Travis ETN does, AK does better. I swear. Every single thing, catching oh, everything, yeah. running, catching, yeah. running through traffic, everything. He does everything better than them. I mean, what are we talking about? I don't think he plays game. What? What? I don't. I don't. See, baby, you're a Saints fan. There's no yeah, way. And I love AK. Oh, I, think AK is still, I think AK. I think AK is still a top ten running back. I just ETN don't. was shit this year, bro. Nah, that's not really I, his fault, though. That's not like, really his fault, though. Bro, cut it out. Cut it out, uh, bro. No, I'm, it, no way y'all putting that kid. No way we're putting. No. Ain't no way. I mean, dude, would it make you feel better if we moved Derrick Henry to the end of Elite? No. Because uh, I don't think. I don't think. If we put Henry there, then you have no, to put AK in the Henry there, well. he's better. You, you think Alvin like Kamara is better than Derrick Henry? They're on the same level. Yeah. What? They are on the same level. Are y'all drunk? I mean, I'm not are you play, drunk? I'm no. I'm not I'm fan. Do you know what? Hey, oh my god! Do I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Doing? I'm not gonna complain about it. You feel me? <laughs> I'm glad. Bro, AK there's no way. way. Derrick Henry and Elite, you gonna put him behind JT? Good. <laughs> Bro, Alvin Kamara only played played 12 games. He had he had 1100 yards scrimmage, and only 12 games played. He did the no, same thing last matter. year. Yeah, 13. Was bad. He had 
He had thirteen. He had thirteen hundred the year before, and only uh oh no, fifteen games played. No, I feel you, Dub. I just, uh, I just, I just think, I think they, I think Travis, Kyron, AK, they all in that same little team. That's how I feel. No, I don't think there's a no. clear separator between all of them. Personally. No, after the after this season, you could probably say that, but no, Travis Etienne, what the hell did he do? He didn't I even think do I, that I, I well, again, I think that was more situational than because I saw the year before him literally be that guy that I think he still is. And four more games played, he he had 300 more yards than him, bro. One of those games he left early. So really five. I right, get yeah, the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm, I'm off. A thousand yards. I mean, I, I, I guess. I'm off him, I'm off him bro. Get I mean, off. I, I mean, I guess. The nah, bro. AK is literally a better version. AK is literally on... a better version of Travis Etienne. It's just Etienne's a bit faster than him. Right, I think it's on, on, on G, baby. Time out, time out. So, wait, who's it on again? Who's G, G, baby. Oh, it's on me? Yeah. Tony Pollard. Yeah. Solid. Bro, there's no way you think him and David Montgomery are on two different tiers. There's no way you think that. Well, you can put him in the front of Solid. Yo, this... Yo, this oh my God! What is <laughs> it with y'all, Tony? Y'all, you know, you know, fine. You can put him at the end of good, but oh, why? Wow. Wait, wait. He's there's no way. No, he's clearly better than this guy. No, no he's not. No, he's not. He's not. Tony no. Pollard and David Montgomery. That is no. There's no, there's no way. There's I mean, no way. I mean, y'all glaze Tony Pollard. No, no. Tony. Tony Pollard know. needs a dual system. He's a dual system running back. David Montgomery, he could he could be that. Man. I said David oh, Montgomery. Man, David Montgomery man. could. I said David Montgomery can be the guy that you can yeah. sit the here and be the workhorse. Oh, it's crazy. crazy. I de- don't say switch up. I didn't. I never liked Pollard like that. I never. know you did it, dude. I know nah. you did it. Oh, Actually, you know what? No, put him back in solid. Yeah, put him back in solid. Yeah. 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 Because there's running backs that I'm starting. To I'm not gonna lie, James Conner and David Montgomery are in the same same tier. I'm not gonna. No, they're not. No, they're not. What? No, they're not. Why are you crapping on David Montgomery like because this? Because you got dragging it with David Montgomery. Nah, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'm I don't know not. when James Conner Yeah, we're putting the shot right there. All right. But, all right. Oh. oh Damn. I, like, I ain't going to lie. I like Rashad White. But him as a runner be suspect. He's got to be solid. He's got to be solid. Because I don't even think he's that much better than Raheem. I really don't. Try to Najee's in mid, just people just niggas just hate. Yeah, that's. I think y'all. All right, Grant. G, baby, you hate him, bro. Grant, what are we playing, Josh Jacobs? Oh, uh, you're putting him in very good, and you're putting him in front of ETN. I what the know. hell? Very good. Ah. No. 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 You know, for people no. who hate one year wonders. Y'all love Josh Jacobs. I, oh, I swear. <laughs> I swear. I swear. You put him at right. He's not in the all same right, tier right. as Derrick Henry. I got Breeze. Yeah, you got Breeze. No. Oh, my God. The man's always hurt. We can't even put him there yet. Breeze not elite? No, he's very good right now. He's yeah. always hurt. Nah, Breeze elite. Breeze elite. What? Oh, so <laughs> Trent just totally ignored that. That's crazy. So, Wait, hold, on. Hold, on. hold on, hold on. Let me look. I could have swore he didn't get hurt that much this year. Nah, yeah, I, Con, James Conner is like the James Conner is nice. No, but James Conner he got James hurt Conner. last year. He got he hurt got last hurt year. last year. So this was really the year where he yeah was, he bowled in that he dog a, ass situation that he had. He bowled. Oh my god, I'm not ready to put. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. If Derrick Henry was up on this list, I would have no problem with this list. Why is Aaron Jones in the same breath as JT, Nick Chubb, CMC, and Saquon? Because J- J- Aaron Jones is elite. He's in the back tier of elite, though. No. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, I think- yes. I will say. Aaron okay, Jones so did I a see- pass Texas Legends. So I see one- where this Look, there's one more that's- running back that's going to be in this elite. There's I see where, the- I see where okay. this is. Running- I got, I got B. John right. There's one more running back that's about. I to see where this is going. Hey, I'm just saying, this Josh Jacobs this year. The way I have murder. Tier, the way I rank I'm tiers. I'm gonna put my money on Josh Jacobs. The the way I rank tiers, I need to see like a a a substantial argument for both for one being better than better than the other. I don't see an argument for Brees Hall or Aaron Jones being on the same level, if not even better than JT, Nick Chubb, CMC, or Saquon. There's not one for me. That's why they're not in the in same team. Spot to put Bijan. 
you can we to? make another tier? Can we just put tier? Can we just make like uh above elite like the top four, the Mount Rushmore, the Mount Rushmore? Yes. Yeah. What's what's the name of it? What are we gonna put? We we'll put elite S tier and then elite. I'm fine with that. And then I'll drop Breeze. Yeah, I'm cool with that. That's better. Then okay. you know what? Move Derrick Henry back up. Okay. Then we could put him. Now there. we cooking. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 This is better. This is okay. better. Okay. 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 I can. I can. I can with this. Oh, uh, we all. Okay. We are, Oh, real quick. We also have a super chat. Let me get that out the way real quick. Mm -hmm. Um, from Kellen Rollins, y'all ain't watching Cardinals games. Cardinals were a top ten rushing offense. That was all because of James Conner, and he only played thirteen games. Uh, James Cook was top ten in rushing for the Bills. What that means? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Let's get back to it. All right. Hey, a thousand yard, a thousand yards though in thirteen games is crazy. Yeah, bro, he was not. Yo, hey, he hey, was, oh. hey, sh hey, shout out him. So was Daniel Montgomery hey, because he did it in the same amount real. of games. Because he did what? it in the same amount of games. You know what? I'll and be, I'll scary. be real with Kellen Rollins. I wasn't watching that dog water crew. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Like that, that was a really bad crew. Hey, I will say that hey, we could move James you know Conner up. Hey, I, hey, I, I do, nah. I do respect the thousand and thirteen hey, games. Hey, but Doug, hey, but Doug. You know, David Montgomery did a thousand and thirteen as well, and he's splitting carries. Mm. Mm. James Conner could do the same thing, but hey, let's keep pushing. He lies, mm. lies you tell. Hey, sure, lies sure. you tell. Okay, James Conner, Jameer Gibbs, I can see him doing the same thing. No, they can't. Okay, bro. Ben, where we putting Bijan? Bijan. Ah, I ain't gonna like this one. I'm putting him at elite. Okay, where? Ah, uh, shoot. Um, Jesus. Somebody has background. Put him, put him, put him uh, behind Derek Henry. <laughs> crazy, but okay. Bro, this is crazy. All right, all right. G baby, Jameer Gibbs. <laughs> See, we're not doing this. Keep in mind, chat. This is the and, same and, dude and, who and said Gibbs the lies were selling. And, and Gibbs is not better than Bijan. Don't even start that shit. Don't even start it. I've never said that. I'm just saying, don't even start it, bro. I've never said that. Where are we putting him? Because he ain't better than Brees either. I'm not gonna lie though. He better, he, better, he, he better than Josh Jacobs. Oh, okay. 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 He better than Josh Jacobs. You feel me? Go ahead and slide him right there. Nah, if Bijan's Bichon, elite, so is. Jameer. I don't know about that. Ah, Jameer was going. I'm I not gonna lie. I think Bijan Jameer was better. crazy. Jameer was crazy. Nah, bro. shout out Jameer. Shout out Jameer. No, I mean, better. Jameer was Jameer. What he was doing on that line screw was despicable. His explosiveness, yeah, is facts. crazy. Bro. Yeah, facts, facts. Facts. better version of Tony Pollard. Let's keep it pushing. Um, um, that's who you thought Tony was. Facts. I mean, I just, I just is that I Devon mean, A chain? Is I mean, it's just the same. I mean, it's just the same thing. They're literally doing the same thing. Is that A chain? Yeah. Eight, you get eight. It's me, right? Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Eight chain. Elusive I mean, merchant. I, I kind of, I'm going to move David Montgomery up, but because eight chain's very good to me. I just he's think not he better than his... Monty, right? He's better than Monty. Yo, Monty? You think eight chain better than Monty, though? Guys. We talking about explosiveness. This nigga named him CJ2K. He want to come to explosiveness. I would, I would. I will understand why somebody thinks he's better. I'm not going to lie. But do you think he's I, better? I think they're on the same level. So okay, when cool, we cool, do cool. this all over again, I'm going to bump up David Montgomery. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay. I don't disagree. That, that's, hey, that's Grant, great. Grant, when you got Mr. P Mr. Run Hard Pacheco. Oh, this is this. I'm no, not it's lie. not. You're going to lie, too, and it's going to annoy me. I'll, he, I would say mid- but I think Whoa. Is fuck. <laughs> oh my god. He's a tryhard, that's right. Uh, where, where, where are we playing Mr. Pacheco, bro? This. Oh my god. All right. Why do y'all tax people for giving effort? I don't understand. Why do y'all tax people for giving effort? Right. 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 I'm not gonna be disgusted. Put him in the front. Oh my god. Wait, For so what? if you're in front of who? Bro, there's no way you're telling me Rashad White's better than Isaiah Pacheco. Bro, there's no, there's way. no way you're telling me that shit, bro. Pacheco's better, better than James Cook. He's better than James Cook. Nah, he's not better than James Cook. He's not. He's not better than James Cook. He no, he's not. He's not better than James Cook. I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. Uh, Pacheco's slide. not that good. Let's yeah, relax. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, he's better than Tony Pollard, though. No, he's not. You're lying. 
Oh, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, you're guessing, you're guessing with the Tony. The I'm thing, not gonna the lie. Only thing, the only thing uh, David does better than Tony Paul is that he dances better when he scores. He has a better celebration. Hey, well, he hey, runs through. Hey, he runs. He no runs through. He's more explosive. He's more explosive. Who is? Who is? Who is more explosive? Not No. Oh, you're lying. Have, you're lying. Hey, G baby, stop. Get some help. No, listen. Have y'all seen the way Isaiah Pacheco will explode out that backfield when he breaks? Stop. Hey, man. Are you just yeah? Saying, yeah right, so this is his acceleration is great, but it stops <laughs> immediately, and especially when there's traffic, because this is what's gonna happen. He hits the defender, and his legs just keep going and going and going forward. If you want to talk about breaking through traffic, yeah, Pacheco got that over TP. That's it, though. That's the only thing. Yeah. Listen, you got another super chat. Probably you said what's the name? Oh, had okay. eight hundred yards and a hundred. On a hundred carries, that is ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. Nah, A chain is what like A chain. That's, that's actually ridiculous. Crazy. All right, so I got AK. Hmm. This hmm. man, Mike, that De- not Mike did some. This man, M- Mike McDaniel, cheating the league. This man got nothing but track and field stars, bro. I'm okay. Nah, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Bro. Don't but do he's better. I don't. Josh Jacobs a little bit too high for me. We can do. We can do bumps. I, I think, oh, I don't think he's not better than none of them up here. He's not better than none of them up here. Yeah, that's fine. That's and fine. I don't think he's is better he than Kyle. I don't think he's better. Are we seeing ETN? You know what I mean. Bro, you ETN put on Pacheco does... and me, bro. Like, come ETN, on, ETN does I, not I'm belong so... up there. Neither does Josh Jacobs. I mean, I, I, I'm, not I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Josh Jacobs definitely need to be there. Ben, 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 Ben. Where are we putting Austin? Oh, oh. Doo-doo. Yes, sir. Yeah. Doo-doo. Damn, the receiver gets no respect. All right. G-Baby, Kenneth Walker. Oh no! Nah, oh no! Nah. Why we give G baby to KK? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good better one. than Monty. Nah, he, he's better than. Put Monty. Do to just to be there. He's better than Monty, dog. Don't even. Oh try. my god! Where are we playing K nine? Um, it's not troll, bro. It's look, not troll. Look, look at G baby smiling over there. That's not troll, dog. Well, he's definitely not better than everybody and very good. I'm just trying to uh, determine. I'm not going to lie. He's on the same level of Kyron. Like, what are we talking he is. about? He is. He, he really is. Say, yeah, he, yeah, he on the same level, but he's not better. I said I he's not this better. List. Um, I hate this list so I'm really much. just trying to determine if I'm going to put him in front of A-Chain or not, for real, for real. I hate this list. You know what? Put him behind A-Chain. All right. I wow. All right, bet. Bet, bet, bet. All I right. I do hate this Yo, list. Ramondre Stevenson. Yo, I want to see where y'all rank Ramondre Stevenson. He's, he's, better, he's, he's better than Pacheco. He's solid. He's gonna be behind. Um, he, yeah, put him right next to Pacheco, I guess. I don't know, man. I don't remember. Damn, Ramondre I'm not gonna lie. 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 i if he better than Tony Pollard, hey man, all right. I mean they both that's better. Fine. Than I mean that's fine. That's fine. But Raheem Mostert, he's better. No, I'm saying, but if he's better, then there's other people that need to go up to. You know what I'm saying? Like who? I don't think Monty and Raheem Mostert are in the same tier. Like David Montgomery needs to go up. I'm moving him. Up. Yeah, you facts, facts, go facts, ahead facts, and just facts. put Jamal. Yo, Williams. David Montgomery is not very good. Dog. Yes, he is, bro. Oh, you not so watching? Bro. You just want to hate on Jerry? I'm Ains, not man. watching David, bro. He hey, he, hey dog. he has great vision. Oh, he has but elite vision. That's about it. What? What? That's about it. Like, what? That's not. That's, that's about. about it. That's he's not no, an elite. He's crazy. not a. He's he's a good runner. Like, he's a great runner. Great is crazy. He's a great runner. He's not. I'm not gonna lie. And when in terms of running, he's not in the tiers of these guys. Like the only one you could probably argue is AK. He's a he's a red zone. He's a red zone beast, bro. What are you talking about? Man. Hey, so hey, he's so amazing Doug, in the red zone. What? Hey, Doug, remember how I said earlier how too many coincidences? It's not an accident. It's not an accident that Trent seems to hate on Amon Ross St. Brown. Jared Goff, they all y'all David overrated. Montgomery, all on the same <laughs> y'all team. Y'all overrated. <laughs> all on the same team. It's not, bro. Wow. It's not a coincidence. Yo, y'all trying to yeah, say Monty's in the same tier? Y'all trying to say Monty in the same tier with Kyron? Y'all losing me. 
I didn't say they he was are. better than Kyrie. Kyrie's not that good. Like, what? I'm not, I, he's I, I, I ain't that. Yeah, I ain't say that. that. He's he's that. that. He no, like, not that good to the level of where way he's that how, over, bro. like, hey, not better how, He's a better how. runner. He has the same – he has the, his, has the same level of vision. He's a better runner, and he's a better receiver back. Kyron vision is elite. Oh, so was David Montgomery. But Kyron, but Kyron has that. It's also is a better runner, and he's better. Receiver. I mean, better Kyron runner. Kyron vision is better pretty elite. Better I don't even think he's that much of a better runner. That man, like for real, I, for real. I, <laughs> I really I'll don't. Give you the receiving. I'll give you the receiving. For but sure. even then, the receiving by how much? <laughs> Kyron. Oh, what the? Whoa, 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 Hey, he don't hey, be receiving hey, like that. Hey, That's hey, what it is. Hey. Hey, I, re I relax on that with them. He it's it, it what, still what clears Montgomery. About? It still clears Montgomery, bro. I'm not going bro, it's not it. What? Bro. Hold on, let me let me double check this real quick before before I. Keep are y'all are y'all are y'all serious? Let's double check. Let's double check. He uh, doesn't. He, just he gets he gets checkdowns. He gets tons of checkdowns. What are we talking about? Oh, that's not. Let me not. <laughs> no, but that's that's who was you gonna say? Of, like a lot of running backs will get check downs. No, but like Kyron is like he'll get a check down, and a lot of times he'll just get I'm like, not a lot of stop right there. Honestly, he's not exploding for that. This list honestly ain't bad. Like, I don't because I don't feel like are we gonna rank Damian Pierce and Jalen Warren? We see AJ Dillon. You can just go ahead and put Jalen Warren probably because he's better. You can just go ahead and put Jamal. Not, Williams bro, 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 bro. I'm not mad about it. Stop hating on Najee, bro. It's like, not. It's, it's you ridiculous. Got, wait, 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 Trey. You just overrate him. I don't hate. You wait, wait, wait. I, oh, wait, come on. I overrate Najee for saying he's top 20? Yes. Yes, you do. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah, he's not. There's, there's, there's too many. Wait, oh, we could count two, them right here. Oh, two, four, That's eight. six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. What's the name? 18. Oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> yeah. hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. But wait. Though, yeah, wait, he's not wait, top wait. 20. Wait, I think he's. I think Najee's better than Ramondre. I think he's better than Pacheco. I think he's better than White. That's and then, still not 20. Yes. And we, and we got names to go. He's top 20. He's top 23. Fuck it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's top 30. Wait, we still got names on this list that are going to go above him. So. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Show me, see, show me the people. Uh, None of them. None of them. Wait, let me see who's there first. Hold on. Let's like, just go ahead and put Jamal Williams and do this. J Jam no. Oh, wait. Is that, put Zach Moss. Zach Moss better than him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Respect yeah. yeah. Zach Moss. Yo, Zach Moss is better than Najee. Yeah, yeah. Put him in good. He's in good. He's in good. No, wait. Solid, 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 solid. He's a solid. He's a solid. He's at the back in the solid. I switched it to solid. I switched it to solid. Damn. Whoa, no. Relax. And Dalvin Cook up there too. It's like, nah, nah. Stop it. Shut up. No, 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 no. <laughs> he cooking. He cooking. He cooking. Cook. Are there nah, names on here that no. are worth ranking? Who's oh, Tyler Algier. Why is Tyler Algier not in the mix? Oh, Tyler Algier yeah. better he's too. Solid. He's not better, but he's solid though. Nah, he better. What you mean? Yes, he is better than Najee. He's not better than he's. There's no aspect that Tyler Algier does better than Najee. No aspect. Run the football. You're lying. You're literally oh, lying. No, no, not Najee. You're lying. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie. lie. I'd rather have Najee run the football over. Can we bump? Can we bump Najee up, bro? No, he's mid. Hey, hey, Dub. If, oh, wait, Brian Robinson Jr. Oh, yeah, Brian Robinson. I see him. Solid. He's he. Hmm. It's so sad because I see Javante Williams there, and he really should have been in very good Facts. if he reached Facts. his potential. But that ACL's gone, gang. That's the Javante. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. he should have yeah. been. He was literally on his way at one point to being a top ten running back. Uh, yeah. I want to make sure this list is perfect, right? Let's let's go back up. Perfect is crazy. Though. Now nah, we can make this perfect because we got to move some heads. If you put Derrick Henry, I, me personally, I think if you put Derrick Henry, like just even when I say back here at the last spot, I think it is he still better than Bijan? Wait, realistically, I think Bijan is damn near S tier back, but that's another come from another day. Mm. So yeah, listen, I, I gotta write Bijan an apology. This <laughs> is what I'm thinking, <laughs> but yeah, the thing is, all right, this is what I'm thinking. What do you think? How about you, Josh? How about we drop Josh Jacobs all the way down? Oh, my flash. Drop all the way down to where he – between K-9 and A-Chain? Now, he could be good. He's dropping. I think him and ETN needs to drop. Him and ETN needs to I drop. Think, I, think, I think him and AK in the same tier, though, but I ain't going to lie. AK is better than him at literally everything. I don't get that. All right, so then we do that. 
This is this is there is no is fucking really way good. Tony Pollard. See, I think these two are like good. Like, I nah. I'm not gonna lie. I think, but we could put Tony. I think Cook, Tony better than Ray, We could put Tony Cook, Raheem, and good. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, okay. This is good. And then they're go solid. No, no, he, no, he doesn't. Now you got to go to solid. Now he has to go. Solid. Solid. I'm not gonna lie. What's stopping? Um, I'm not gonna lie. He's at the top of solid too. He's, he's not. That's I don't know who y'all. I'm not gonna lie, this list. Nah, G, I'm with you, Pacheco. Though this is not bad. Who this Najee guy is, bro? This is not bad at all. But as far as the tier list goes, this is probably the best one player's choice has ever done. But nah, this is good because I'm fine. Like the thing is, if we move Henry up to elite, we got to move some guys in that very good to elite as well. I think that could fuck a lot of things up because I I don't think think think, does though. I don't think Henry's elite anymore though. Like I really don't. I think he's. I think this is, it. This is his S-tier. last year of being elite. No, he's not S tier because we added that next one. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Derek Henry's not S tier, but I would still call him elite. He's now, elite. Now, now, if he comes to this Ravens team and just falls off a cliff, then I use. Oh, I forgot he's on the Ravens. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, like uh, to me, They're I feel like crazy. for me, I feel like I feel like, like com- I feel like when it comes to Derek Henry on the Ravens, I feel like there should be no reason. No reason you don't go stupid, like zero, because Todd Munkin, you can call it what you want. Yeah, he maybe stopped running out with three tight end personnel, but he still runs the ball. They're still gonna run a read option. Fair. They're still gonna they're still gonna have Lamar read that defensive end crashing to determine whether or not he pulls it or if he hands it off. So to me, Derek Henry, you're literally in a great situation. So if you don't ball out on your probably last year of being an effective running back. Okay. Yeah. Might be GG's for you. I think it's a little solid. That was that was that was a great list. I still don't know. Yeah. Hey, let's do receivers. Let's do a receivers tier list next week or quarterback. Which one y'all want to do? We well, can do quarterback. I'm I mean, not receivers because I want to see where Trent is gonna lie and put him on Ross St. Brown. Oh, oh, I'll be here. He gonna be. Yeah, I ain't gonna do DK he dirty. Good. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna do DK dirty. DK is. Me, <laughs> we can like, do a receivers one next week. I'm down for it. That's all gonna be fun. Yeah, yeah. and 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 Amon Ra is good, very good. Very good. good. Yes, he is, bro. Yes, he is, bro. Y'all got anything to say? Anything else to say? Because I'm not gonna lie, I'm tapped out. Me too. Good. We do. Yeah. Nah, it's all good. Um, what's it called? Well, we'll be back next with a wide receiver tips. And I hate that the draft is so far away. I know they got to get through all the pro days and stuff. But mm-hmm. I hate that the draft mm-hmm. is so far away. Y'all read you. It happens, bro. Yeah. We'll get there eventually. Man, yeah. let's speed it up. All right. See y'all. See y'all later. If y'all celebrate uh, it. Happy Easter. Y'all be like safe. Like the video. Subscribe, man. Salute. Peace.